Today we're talking about uh, making your videos uh, smaller and this these tips uh, will be useful to anybody who's using a Mac computer Mac. Uh, as you can see from the logos at the bottom here I'm not using a Windows machine. Uh, tips and tricks would be different for uh, Windows uh, sufferers but for Mac OS uh, people um, this might be useful. Anyway, so I did a vid here. And, oh, and first tip is that uh, try not to use uh, 60 frames per second uh, because the, they create very big files which are hard to compress uh, unless you really need to slow the video down. Um, 30 frames per second is perfect. Unfortunately, in my I used my uh, Panasonic Panasonic Cam HCV750. And I wanted to show this. Um, I wanted to record in high quality 1080p, but 1080p is only available at 60 frames per second. So unfortunately, uh, that contradicts my own advice. That's why I, on this camera, on this Panasonic, I mostly use um, I mostly use uh, 720p, which records at 30 frames per second. And QuickTime Play has a useful feature here. It says movie called Movie Inspector, right? And this shows you your frames per second. In this case, 5994, and your resolution, and your audio sampling rate and uh, length, right? But this video is one minute long, and it's already 221 megabytes because it's full HD at 60 frames per second. So. Uh, that's already gonna take a lot of time if you're trying to upload this video from uh, from uh, you know using a slow um, a slow uh, internet like at a coffee shop where I'm sitting right now. So that's why it's good to use um, something like this Handbrake. And you go to this website Handbrake.fr. Frank Richard. I think it's a French um, website, but it's all open source. It's all free and they have a Windows version and they have an Apple version and the website will recognize what computer you're using and it'll give you this link here how to download right and so you download it drag it to your um, drag it to your applications folder see I already installed it here handbrake over here right and so now I am going to show you what you can do with a handbrake so again if you remember, this was a one minute video, 1080p, 60 frames per second, was 221 megabytes, which is not good. So, what? Okay, I don't want to stop recording. What is this? Get away from here. Anyway, so, uh, so now we're going to open the handbrake. And it looks like this. On the first screen, you see it's, it offers you to uh, choose your source. What do you want to compress? And here, it has a whole bunch of uh, presets, right? So, regular, I just usually use regular. And this is the video I was uh, opening before, right? And that's it. And here, the only thing you have to do is actually two things. is. Uh, you can click this one, web optimized. So, and then the, your compression, the main key is, you see it says 20, but for uh, high quality video, 720 or 1080p, they recommend on the help file over here. Help file, you, you can go to the user guide, but the brief version is that you can use 22 for compression. That's the, the higher the number, the more compressed it will be, but they, they don't recommend going above 22 plus minus 1 for high definition video so that's why I usually do like this and you see and then so I have 22 variable rate same as source or I can convert it to 30 but it's not it's not a good idea it's better to keep the frame rate the same because otherwise the more time you convert it the, the less the quality will be the quality will go down and here you can see that that's your source 1080p and output is the same but if you s then you click start I will create a, uh, an, uh, 
another file with this name here but the best part is that you can also if your video is too long you can play here with this picture settings and you can choose the size of your frame see if you keep the aspect ratio you can just reduce the size of your file and you see over here it says that's what it is right so let's say I want to do width 720 you know oh but anyway so you can reduce the file of your size uh, the size of your file and that dramatically dramatically uh, affects the um, the final size that you will be uploading like if you really don't need maybe 1080p you know just because most people watch YouTube videos on the computer or on the tablet right in the window on the YouTube page so now of course I have to give it back like how do I source 1920 okay I'm almost there yeah here we go I don't want to change it so uh, the only thing yeah I'm changing here is uh, web optimized quality 22 and also audio uh, you can see it's a sample rate auto I leave it like that but then bitrate sometimes let's see if it's something uh, vital I can go to the maximum because that's what uh, YouTube suggests and another thing tune is uh, not important but if you want like have some kind of a character in your movie you can choose any of these effects right I usually choose film to make it more like motion picture but for this example we're not gonna do anything except that here YouTube recommends setting your profile to high right and that's what it is so now we're gonna have a web optimized H264 video with the same frame rate as the source compressed but still great quality and this is our output and uh, then we we'll just click start and that's it so over here it shows you the percentage completed and the same here and how much time is left and because this is relatively a uh, small file just one minute it shouldn't take long And then we'll just compare the size. Oh, and the best part is that once you uh, choose all your options, you can save this by clicking this plus here. And it'll save whatever you chose here. Like you see over here, I have 720p at 22. That's for 720p video. But I usually don't use 1080 because it's huge files. But that, that's like you do it once, you choose your options once, and then you click plus and you set up your own profile here so it's a very useful piece of software okay so now it tells us to put down that cocktail your handbrake encode test video is done okay so now we can close this one and I think it's that's our test with. Okay, yeah, I see. So, this is the original, 221 megabytes, and this is the new one, 50, 50 megabytes. So it became over four times smaller for the same one minute long, right? And that's a big difference. Now imagine if your video is 30 minutes long and uh, well, just see the difference. So this is the compressed version. She still looks pretty good, right? But much smaller. And this is the full version. So of course there is uh, probably some slight difference, but for people on YouTube, after YouTube uh, uh, does its own compression, it's no, it's not gonna matter. So this is the best tip I can give to people who wants to uh, reduce the size of their video. So uh, uh, again, don't use 60 frames per second; use 30, and then use Handbrake, which you can download for free from uh, the website, and keep the picture size. 
uh, small unless you really need people to see the full screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Sergey Drachev in Cambridge, Ontario.